braced shapes. All right, well, a braced shape is like this. Pretty soon, we're gonna get into modeling, um, but first, you have to kind of know that there's two types of box modeling variations, organic and non-organic, okay? And there's always gonna be a mixture between organic and non-organic. Uh, say if you had armor and you wanted the armor to be kind of a flat look and then all of a sudden you wanted to go into a more cylindrical look or sphere look. So I also, along with basic shapes, always teach students the braced schema of geometry. Okay, let's add a cube. And for this cube, let's say this. When I hit multi-resolution and hit subdivide, turns to a sphere and I don't want that to happen I want it to become a smooth sphere okay let's kind of look at that for a second what is this it's smooth sphere and how or a smooth box and how much easier that is to say is smooth box rather than smooth sphere let's go into edit mode and look at control R and I'm going to set an edge loop on every corner of this box. Okay, including these. Okay, there we go. I think I want to move this one just a little bit over. So I'm going to highlight it, move it over. So the reason for this shape to occur is because now when I do add a modifier to it and add a multi-res and subdivide it, it just gives this nice tapered corner. Okay. I'm going to apply this change and you can see the difference now. And this allows me to go to a much more organic look later on. We'll get into that into the next chapter, however. But for right now, you know, one of the requirements for the assignment is going to be make a braced item, uh, mainly a cube. Another braced item example is a pyramid. Again, okay, let's go into that. Again, let's make a cube. And let's exit out of that, actually. Let's go into tab, then make a cube. Because I want it as a separate object. Alright, so a pyramid. So I want it to always maintain the shape of a pyramid, but be higher resolution. Okay, I made a cone earlier, so it's kind of like that. If I tab, let's go into the vertices. Again, using my lasso, I'll highlight those. Scale it to the center. Just like that. Let's loop cut. So, control R. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just putting a nice edge loop on all the sides. So this is just a box, basically. And the box top is just shrunk in. So I'll show you another way to do this here in two seconds. Okay, so that means when I add a modifier to this, it should uh, be correct. Let me check one more thing. Yes, it should be correct. Okay, so there we go. We got a higher res pyramid that we can play with. Now, another way to do that is simply go into the braced square. And 
and I could technically go in here, highlight edges, X, edge loop, Okay, so this is probably more complex actually than the last trick, but Okay, then I could take all these at the very top all the vertices and scale them in. Notice it does that. This is a a feature within Blender that is kind of annoying. So to counteract it, I off click, I, I don't get greedy. I go over here, I off click every once in a while and then go back. That way it doesn't fold in on itself. So there we go. We have a brace pyramid. The difference being that it would need one more loop cut right here. And sometimes I have to be kind of zoomed out for that to occur. There we go. Okay. So that's how you make braced items. Again, that's going to be one of the things is make a braced square and a braced pyramid. So we'll get into that once I get the assignment out there. Let's move on to the next video.